Yo guys, what's up? It's Gamer here. Today I'm going to tell you guys how I managed to get all these cars and all my properties in GTA Online. I'm going to show you guys how I made the bulk of my money in GTA. I was able to afford all these cars right here. This method requires you to keep your Xbox on for a prolonged period of time, up to maybe 9 to 12 hours. So if you can't do that, this is not the method for you. Um, there you can grind KOs, but for this, in order to do this, you do need some things. You need the meth in the coke factory, along with the bunker and an arcade. So here I'm purchasing an arcade. Once you get your arcade, get the master control terminal. This is great because you can manage all your businesses in one place, meaning you can resupply, you can sell everything on a computer, on one single thing. Do make a lot, made majority of my money is from the nightclub. I've made about 85 million dollars butter. It's all in warehouse management. So I have five technicians here and each of these technicians go to cargo, sporting goods, which basically means cargo shipments is bunker. Sporting goods is something else. I don't know what business. South American imports is meth and pharmaceutical is then coke. And so you want to set your you want to buy all these businesses. You want to buy a bunker. These are the bare bone highest grossing businesses for the nightclub. And so what the nightclub does is that every hour you AFK in the game or or leaving your Xbox on with your TV off, you make a, a certain amount of money. So I think cargo shipments is uh, $70,000 per hour. Sporting goods is thirty thousand dollars per hour. South American is like forty thousand. FK. And you don't need to promote your club. This does not affect the the technician performance. It doesn't affect. Forget the promoting of the club. It doesn't do anything. You don't really need to do all these special orders. Just do sell all goods. And what it'll do is it'll give you a mission where you have one truck to sell, and that's all you need to sell. So to AFK. You need to do it in a contact mission. This is best because you don't have to pay for daily fees. But first thing is first, you need to make sure you deregister as a CEO or MC president. Once you do that, go to click the Xbox menu and let it sit for two minutes and you'll get a prompt saying uh, return to GTA Online or the black screen. When that happens, I'll show you what to do next. So as you guys have seen here, I've waited for a while and I have successfully set the alert kick from session. Now we're going to activate the no kick glitch. With your profile, click join, join game. And you want to click B on both alerts. Go to pause menu, online jobs. And then blow up. Play. You also want to make sure nobody else is playing with you, it's just you by yourself. Now go run over to your couch and watch TV.